This is Will with Spiritual Clarity, and today we're talking about a tool to help you step out of judgment. It's called You're Right, I'm Wrong. I got it from Dr. Dane here and Access Consciousness, but I use it all the time myself and I give it to clients all the time. So I'm making my own video because I have some stories to share and a perspective on this that is really going to help deepen it for all of my clients and for any new people that might need a, a tool to get out of judgment. So the first thing before I give you the tool is we have to talk about energetic awareness, energetic alignment. There's no point in giving you this tool if you don't have some extra sense of energetic awareness or your energetic alignment. So often when we talk about affirmations, visualizations, tools, business tools, we don't talk about energetic awareness. We don't talk about how do you know if you're actually in alignment or out of alignment? Did it work? Did it help? Was I even willing to shift that energy or that belief or that pattern? So here's how you know. Here's the simplest way that I can tell. When you're in judgment, it's solid, heavy, and real. You don't feel light and fluffy and like a unicorn and like a kid at a candy shop. Now, it's not that every time you do energy work or energy clearing, belief clearing, affirmations, it doesn't mean that you're going to feel like the greatest moment ever of your life and everything's perfect. No, but you will perceive a shift in your reality, a, a shift in the universe. Something will get lighter because judgment is always heavy and it feels like shit. So when you're judging uh, that client who didn't sign up when they said they would, or your boss because they're not treating you the way that you think they should, or the government's doing whatever it's doing and you don't agree, all of these things, whether you're right or wrong, it's a judgment and it's heavy and it's solid and it's real. And when you have a judgment, it sticks that very thing that you don't want in your reality. A judgment is like super glue. It just, it, now it can't go away. Until you deal with the judgment, that thing can't shift. The boss can't get nice or leave. Uh, the client won't get back to you. The government won't change. But I've seen it happen so many times where when you drop the judgment, when you shift the judgment, and the tool I'm going to share with you right now is one of the ways you can do that. When you drop the judgment, the circumstance changes. Now you'll know when you drop the judgment because as I mentioned, the energy shifts, the energy changes. So when I do work with clients and even on myself, when I use tools on myself, something will change and all of a sudden I will hear the birds in the background or the chirping, the crickets. Oh, there's crickets. Or I'll notice my body just whew, relax a little bit. I'll sit back in the chair instead of sitting forward and trying to push out into the world. Um, my speaking will slow down or my breathing will slow down or deepen. Uh, I might even feel you know, my shoulders loosen or lighten. Now it can be very minor. It doesn't have to be that you're super tense and then, oh my gosh, you're totally blissful. It might just be a little shift. So notice as you practice this tool, if that shows up for you. And my family's coming home right now, so I've got to speed it up. The tool is, you're right, I'm wrong. There we go. End of story. So anytime that you're in a judgment, something's not going the way you want, your boss isn't treating you the way that you want, uh, the client's not doing well, you're right, I'm wrong. Because when you're in judgment, it's the assumption that you are right and they are wrong. I first did this with Donald Trump years ago when I just didn't like anything he was doing. I started using this all the time. Okay, you're right, I'm wrong. You're right, I'm wrong. You're right, I'm wrong. And it changed the energy. He didn't change, but it changed my energy and my level of peace and equanimity about it. And I stepped out of judgment of him and it changed a lot of other things in my life as well. One more example, I used to live in Toronto, big city. Everyone seemed to smoke. It seemed like everyone and their brother was out in the street smoking. And it, they were in my face and in my way all the time. So I used this tool and I used it every single time. And sorry, every time that I used it, I would use it until I perceived a little bit of a shift, some kind of a shift energetically or emotionally, nothing groundbreaking until after about two weeks, I'll never forget. I was walking down the street and I was using this process and it clicked in my head and it went, oh my gosh. What if they're right and I'm wrong? And my ego came in and said, well, they couldn't possibly be right. I'm like, no, 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 no. We've shifted. We're different now. What if they're right and I'm wrong? And then my, because of this energetic opening, my brain came in and filled in the blanks with some ridiculous scenario where they could be right and I was wrong. And this is what it came up with. What if aliens came down to eat us because we're a great food source, we human beings, and it eats all of the crunchy granola healthy people first? All the people that take their vitamins and take nice long walks and eat well because we taste good. And all the smokers and the people that drink too much or do other heavier substances, they, they don't eat them because they taste bad. 
<laughs> and I thought, well, that's one way or one reality where they're right and I'm wrong. And everything changed. Now, did the smokers completely disappear? No. There were still smokers. I'm not going to lie. But my judgment about it lessened, I don't know, 80%. 75%. It was a wonderful release and relief after all that time of, be, of being stuck in judgment. So this tool is to help you shift judgment. As you shift judgment, your reality changes. This isn't a magical manifestation tool to have $10 million tomorrow. This is a tool to get you back to baseline because when you're at your baseline, you can choose whatever you want to choose next. You can be whoever you want to be next. Um, so I hope you will use this tool and I actually dare you I dare you to use this. I've given this to so many clients and only two have actually used it. So I dare you, I double dog dare you to use this and then let me know in the comments down below what shifts in your world, what energy shifting do you perceive? Have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.